What we have here is an attempt to hurt me in an election. Former President Trump speaking out yesterday. He is expected back in a Manhattan courtroom today for the second day of his civil fraud trial. Brenda Rodriguez joins us now with the latest from that trial. Brenda. Well, Maggie, Justin, in the case, prosecutors claim Mr. Trump and his associates engaged in, quote, persistent illegal acts. The day is expected to provide a split screen moment as the President Biden's son, Hunter Biden, is set to appear in a Wilmington, Delaware court on federal gun charges. On Monday, Trump blasted the case against him, the judge and the New, or New York Attorney General Letitia James. She's accusing the former president, his sons, and the Trump organization of exaggerating the value of his real estate properties, including Mar-a-Lago, in order to receive better loan terms from banks. My message is simple. No matter how powerful you are, no matter how much money you think you may have, no one is above the law. James is seeking $250 million in penalties from Mr. Trump. The civil trial is just one of four criminal cases against the Republican frontrunner. He claims no wrongdoing and calls the charges political re retribution. The GOP frontrunner's trial comes on the same day as President Biden's son, Hunter, is expected to appear before a judge in Delaware on federal gun charges. Maggie Justin, former President Trump's no jury trial in Manhattan, is expected to last about three months and will be decided by a judge. All right, Brenda, thank you for that.